Hi, it's Andy here from Headspace. And I'm back with our friends at the Metro in the UK to talk about how meditation and mindfulness can be helpful during this global health crisis. So all of our situations are different. You may be someone who is living on their own and really struggling with feelings of loneliness, of isolation. You might be someone who is living in a very busy house. Lots of other people, maybe children running around. Each and every one of our circumstances and situations will be different. But the one thing that has repeatedly come up as a, as a difficulty and challenge for people over the last few months is being separated from the people that they love, the people that they care about. And for those people spending long periods of time on their own, not necessarily having the social interaction that ordinarily they might. So my hope today was to introduce you to a short meditation technique which enables us to reconnect with the people that we care about. I think very often meditation is seen as a, almost a form of escape, a way of getting away from the world, getting away from other people. It's not my understanding of it. My understanding is that when we sit down, when we take time out, far from you know, disconnecting, we're actually reconnecting with the people around us. Ordinarily, we are so caught up in the, the busyness of everyday life, in the busyness of our own mind, that we don't really feel connected. Even if we're with the person, we're not necessarily feeling that point of connection. So it's really important to sit down, to plug back in so that we feel refreshed, to reconnect with the people around us so that we can then not only experience that now in times where we can't be together, but also down the line, obviously it, it has a huge positive influence on the relationships in our lives. As always, I'm gonna guide you through the exercise. It's a visualization exercise. So if visualization isn't something that you've tried before, don't worry. My one bit of advice is that once you bring the image to mind, don't work too hard. It doesn't need a lot of effort. And don't worry if it's a bit fuzzy at times. Don't worry if your mind wanders off at times. All completely normal. It's more about generating the feeling, actually. That's the most important thing. As always, you can do this exercise lying down, sitting up, whatever's most comfortable for you. But we're gonna start with our eyes open. So a nice soft focus that sort of takes in the space around you. So you're not looking at one particular thing, but you can see all the colors, the shapes around you in the room. And maintaining that soft focus, we're just gonna take a couple of big deep breaths. So breathing in through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, just noticing how the muscles in the body soften as the body exhales. Just one more time, breathing in through the nose. This time as you exhale, if you'd like to, just gently closing the eyes and just allowing the body to sink down into the seat or into the floor beneath you. And just take a moment before you do anything else, just to enjoy that feeling of having stopped. Again, allow thoughts to come and go, just focusing on that feeling of the weight of the body pressing down. Noticing how the body feels right now, heavy or light, restless or still. And as you become more aware of those physical sensations, just beginning to notice the breath. So not breathing in any special way, but just noticing which part of the body moves as the body breathes. You might feel it in your chest, your diaphragm, your stomach. If you can't feel anything, just gently place your hand on your stomach. So we're gonna stay with that rising and falling sensation. Again, the mind's gonna wander and that's fine. But as soon as you realize it's wandered, just acknowledging it, letting it go and coming back to the breath again. Just for a few more breaths. So 
So our breath here, we can come back to it at any time if we, if we lose our focus. But the next thing I'd like you to do is just to imagine that person who you care about, somebody who you love, somebody who you miss in your life. I'd like you to imagine them in a place that you know that they would enjoy. You know that they would find relaxing. You know that they'd sort of feel more at ease. Could be as simple as their favorite chair. Might be out in nature, a favorite holiday spot they have. But just picturing that person sitting down, looking relaxed, at ease, however they come to mind. And we're gonna work with our breath. So we're not gonna breathe in any special way, but every time you exhale, I'd like you to imagine that you're sending that person a feeling of happiness, of ease, of love, whatever words kind of work for you to reconnect. But with every out breath, every exhalation, you are sharing with them as much of that quality as you possibly can. And in doing so, you're seeing, you're watching that person look increasingly relaxed, looking increasingly at ease. Maybe you see their shoulders start to soften. Maybe you start to see the person begin to smile. So we're just gonna stay with that idea, using the breath as a way of sending that feeling to the other person. We just stay with that for the next few seconds. Again, seeing their body relax. Seeing them looking increasingly happy. If they're struggling with their health right now, it may be as simple as seeing them looking healthy and well. Every time the mind wanders, just realizing it's wandered and coming back again to the breath, to that image. So just remembering this feeling, that sense of connection with the other person. When you see them looking as happy as you can imagine, just gently letting go of that image. Coming back to the body, coming back to that feeling of contact. Against the seat or the floor beneath you. And whenever you're ready, you can just gently open the eyes again. Before you jump up, before you move, just noticing how that feels. So this exercise takes a little bit of practice. To begin with, the mind can feel very distracted. That's perfectly normal. But over time, this is a feeling that we can use not only during meditation itself, but we can also recall and remember throughout the day. So when we are really feeling like we need to see that other person, we're able to come back to that place, that place where we feel connected. Even if we can't be with them physically, we still, we still feel connected. So my hope is it's been a helpful exercise, that you'll enjoy it, that you'll be able to use it in, in daily life. And I will look forward to seeing you back here next week.